Because we've got all the latest footy news, including this snippet here from Damo. Uh, TJ, look, as we know, Cobbs are getting daily briefings effectively from the AFL and it emerged late last week from the football side of those conversations that the clubs will be given a, a pre-season of sorts when it, when it does resume. Now, when it resumes, it's, it's, a, it's a conversation that no-one can give an answer to now. But if it's to resume sooner rather than later, Lord, whatever definition you want to give to that, the clubs will be given a three-week period to get their players back and to put them in through what will be known as a pre-season between rounds one and the resumption of play. If it's later, than, than sooner, so to speak. Um, it will be probably a four-week runway to get the clubs prepared. But they, they have got their heads around the, uh, the fact they need that chunk of time in order to get the players back to, to match fitness on a, on a collective basis. What does sooner mean, Damo? Sooner probably takes in until the uh, mid parts of July, Lordo. I think there's a, a feeling now that the, the June 1 resumption, which the AFL is on record with saying when it shut the competition down, is not going to happen. It's just how soon it happens beyond that point. And... The way the clubs are talking, that they would be ecstatic in a, in a world where there's no such emotion really, but they'd be ecstatic if they could somehow get some football play before August, the way they're talking. And it just it says to me that the experienced clubs will benefit from this. A three-week pre-season isn't <coughs> long at all, but you've got the experienced guys who can use the drive, who can connect with their teammates uh, and, and get them motivated to keep themselves fit in this time because a three-week pre-season isn't long at all, considering that... These guys might not have kicked the footy, Lordo, with someone for... Yes, they, I don't would know. they would have. They all would have. They who are they kicking the footy with? Well, they, you can you kick can with a mate. Go with so. a mate. Yeah. People have friends, Kane. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but uh, there's not that many players, I would say less than half, are regularly kicking a uh, footy. No, no, they don't no, have the, they don't have the yeah. luxury of time, Kane, obviously. So, so three weeks is obviously at the shorter end. The other uh, component to these football conversations <laughs> with the clubs last week, guys, was... Uh, was the possibility, and, and some clubs are pushing for this quite hard, harder than others, to have a, an increase on the number of players on the interchange. We know there's four at the moment. That's what was the case in round one. But the, I think that campaign bill will, will actually become uh, intensified as, as the return date becomes real, that there yeah. may be uh, an extension of that to, four, to six even, to seven, to yeah, eight. That's and a no-brainer, isn't it? Yeah, I, I would have thought so, given, given some injuries to players already on, on list at the moment, needing to come back through the, the, the AFL as opposed to the state leagues, which are also um, in limbo and, and unknown. Just we, on yes. that... We had Chris Scott on Triple M yesterday and Chris Scott said that there will be a cutting back of player lists. Yeah, going into 2021 yeah, year, yeah. and beyond. Yeah, that, that They'll obviously difficult. retain the numbers for this year. Damo, that makes it difficult though. Some clubs have got upwards of 40 players contracted for next year. Yeah. Yeah, look, as we've sort of been feeling for some time, um, I think a lot of contracts are going to have to be redrawn right. anyway. Um, that conversation is one the AFL industry doesn't want to be having um, fully right now. Their focus purely is on getting the games to resume. Those conversations will, will happen once that happens. And uh, the, uh, the, the possibility, again, just to throw in conversations from clubs during the week, guys, uh, the possibility of a, of a substitute player. Remember we had that a few years ago? Yeah. Just in, in terms of players returning from injury, to, to allow them to maybe play a quarter, a quarter yeah. and a half, and then take them out of the play and not be, um, I suppose, disadvantaged by that. Brownie, do you like the possibilities of the, uh, the extended bench? Oh, I do. I think uh, the extended bench would be great. Obviously, players went from 16Ks to 12Ks running with the 16-minute quarters. But I can't fathom, Kane, in this world. I know you're allowed to go out and exercise that you think that a player isn't going to go home and kick his football, whether it's just to himself, whether it's against the wall. Um, not everybody is as stupid as you think, Kane. I think everybody's going to get a football and have a kick of it. Just read an article from Giannis Anatokounmpo in the NBA, who is the reigning MVP, said he has not shot a basketball since What's he's been in isolation. He's an NBA. Player, He's an NBA player, I get that, but that's the mentality of some elite athletes. In the off-season where players have eight, nine, ten weeks off, I guarantee you not all no, of them well, regularly kick the football, and that's with no Kane, restrictions. Do you not remember the Essendon Supplement saga when those players were out for so long? We would have vision of them every week on the news. I understand that, TJ, but we weren't, was it, yeah, we, Burns, we, yeah. we weren't in lockdown. You weren't only well, able to go out. You were. weren't allowed to go out in groups of two. You're only allowed to go out in groups of two. Well, yeah. We only need another kick person the down the end. OK, I'd, I'd be surprised if more than 50% of AFL players are regularly kicking an AFL That football. is unbelievable. No, you haven't read that. You've read no. the wrong no, tea They'll be keeping fit. <laughs> they'll be doing their weights. They'll be running. Why they'll be doing they? all Why of that. Why would they have a kick then? They? Because they've got to find someone to do it, yeah. Lordy. People have got their own lives to live. You... I've asked uh, the inexperienced club officials you were talking about at Carlton, <laughs> and they say you can be four metres away from someone. So I'm driving past ovals and there's people kicking all the Everyone. time. I'm seeing under 18 NAB leaguers. I'm seeing 
private. Well, I'll, I'll run every day and I haven't seen it. Have you? Well, you maybe you're, you're running around Albert Park Lake. There's beach. water in the middle there. And, and, and the tan and everywhere. <laughs> no, that's, we'll, we'll ask right, Mitch well, Robinson soon. Well, we will ask Mitch Robinson. Yeah. In fact, if any of the players are watching, as I'm mm. sure you are at the moment, just please text the boys and let them know what you're doing. You might even send through some vision of you having a kick this morning. Get Lisa to make him some soup. Yeah, good, Nath. Anyway, now.